how a concentrated urine is produced mechanism of formation of concentrated urine i am saying the final urine formed it is isotonic to medullary fluid but it is hypertonic to blood plasma so concentrated urine formed it is 1200 milli osmolars per liter so it's isotonic to medullary fluid but when compared to blood plasma blood plasma's concentration is 300 milli osmolars so it is several times higher in concentration when compared to blood plasma now how is this concentrated urine formation possible now if you take this this area this area is the henle's tube this is the descending limb of henle's tube that is the ascending limb of henle's tube so that is the henle's tube Now, if you observe the Henle's loop, this area I have taken. When I observe the descending limb of Henle's loop, you can observe the flow of primary urine in the descending limb and ascending limb of Henle's loop. It is opposite to each other. That means there is a counter current in them. Counter means opposite. So the flow of fluid is just opposite to them. And if you observe vasa recta, vasa recta is a capillary, is a blood capillary which is running parallelly to Henle's tube. So this, this blood vessel is called vasa recta. Now if you observe the direction of blood flow in vasa recta, so this is the descending limb of vasa recta and this is the ascending limb of vasa recta so you can see the moment of blood inside vasa recta exhibit counter current mechanism so it is opposite to each other and then again the henle's loop and vasa recta they are close to each other and both of them if i take henle's loop and vasa recta Hmm? Ascending limb of Henle's loop and descending limb of vasa recta, they exhibit counter current. So the moment of fluid in both of them is opposite to each other. A counter current mechanism is very much required to maintain an increasing concentration inside medullary fluid. We have already seen in the outer region of medullary fluid the concentration is 300 milli osmolals per liter. But as we proceed downwards it will increase to 600, 900 and 1200. And towards the inside of medullary interstitium we will have 1200 milli osmolals per liter. So gradually concentrations will increase. So less outside, high inside. So there is difference in the concentrations inside the medulla with increasing concentration towards inside. So that difference is called medullary interstitial gradient. Medullary gradient. Gradient means difference. Difference in the concentration. The counter current mechanism existing inside Henle's loop and vasa recta. A counter current mechanism which is existing when both of them are in close proximity with each other maintains a, a medullary gradient in the medullary interstitial. How that is possible? Now, if you observe the descending limb and ascending limb, the descending limb of Henle's loop and ascending limb of Henle's loop are structurally different. Their structure is different. So they definitely their function will also differ. When you see the descending limb, much of the descending limb contains simple squamous epithelium and it is permeable only to water. If you see the ascending limb, much of which is thick and it is impermeable to water, it is permeable only to salts. And salts also, it is pumped outside by active transport. But here what is going outside by? In case of descending limb, what is going outside by? Osmosis. Now what is happening in these two if you observe? Descending limb permeable to water, 
ascending limb permeable to shorts. Anyway, first, if I take the ascending limb, if I take the ascending limb, 